it doesn't tell you that you're sick. How do they um, misuse PCR to estimate uh, all these so supposed free viral RNAs that may or may not be there? Uh, is this, um, I think misuse PCR is not quite, I don't think you can misuse PCR. You know, the results, the interpretation of it. See, if you, if you, if you can say, if, if, if they wanted, if, if they could find this virus in you at all, and with PCR, if you do it well, you can find almost anything in anybody. It starts making you believe in the sort of Buddhist notion that everything is contained in everything else, right? I mean, because if you can amplify one single molecule up to, a, to something that you can really measure, which PCR can do, then there's just very few molecules that you don't have at least one single one of them in your body, okay? So that could be thought of as a misuse of it just to, to claim that it's meaningful. It allows you to take a very minuscule amount of anything and make it measurable and then talk about it in meetings and stuff like it is important. See, that, that, that's not a misuse, that's just sort of a misinterpretation. PCR is separate from that, it's just a process that's used to make a whole lot of something out of something. That's what also, it is, um, but, it's, but it's not it doesn't tell you that you're sick. It doesn't tell you that you're sick. It doesn't tell you that you're sick. And it doesn't tell you that the thing you ended up with really was going to hurt you or anything like that.